G'day Aussie bush changers, Paul here again. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on some uh, things that I put in the vegetable garden and uh, we can find out whether or not people want to know a bit more about that or if we just sort of skip across general knowledge stuff and keep, keep you updated with what's going on there rather than delving right into it. So let's go ahead and have a look. Firstly, You'll notice this soil here, it's, it's uh, kind of like clay uh, a couple of inches down. Uh, it's very sandy on the surface. You can see here, very sandy, but on this bit here it's clay. And if you dig it up, uh, clay is generally quite high in nutrients, but you need to get the nutrients out. So what I've done is, with each of these plants, I've dug down I've uh, mixed in some ash and some potting mix. Ideally I'd get some cow manure, but I need to get some yet from one of the neighbours. Uh, so basically that's what we've got there, that's a little aloe plant, uh, orange or something it's called. Not an aloe vera though unfortunately, we've got an aloe vera over there. But that's just uh, an orange flower you can probably see on the, on the little image there. And we've put in some rosemary. We've got a tomato in here, which I need to trim. Uh, if you just see here, what I'd need to do is trim here where it joins off to get this one from touching the ground. We don't want tomato plants touching the ground because that's how you get all the disease into the tomato plants. Then we've got an eggplant and we've got four zucchini plants along here. Now these were the first ones that went in which had no cover so the ends of the leaves have been a little bit sunburned so hopefully we, we'll be able to recover from that. And then over here we've put in some garlic chives and we've got a series of silver beet, just individually. And then there's a little punch there to give it strength to see how it goes. So this is all just experimental to see how we go without putting too much fertilizer and gypsum in to, to give it uh, the ability to hold the water. As you can see, and then I'll put the shade cloth on, which really has made a big difference before the plants would just wither up through the day. Now they can withstand the whole day and you can see they're all right. We had about 35 degree day today and they've all coped quite well. Now the next step is over near the water tank. Oh, we'll show you what we've done there. So let me just uh, zip over to a point where you can see the water tank like that so we'll go over there and have a look so bear with me and we'll go uh, here we go so we're here now at the water tank now as you can see there's a lot of these thistly things here I better check find out what these are called so we can try eradicating them. Now, what I've done over here, with the help of my lovely wife, is put in a lemon and a cherry tree. So this is the lemon. We've dug down there, we've put a fair bit of potting mix in that one. Moisturised down the bottom, put some dirt back in, and then more potting mix on the top. Uh, after we've watered it a bit more and that'll keep it moist down the bottom for the roots and actually before I forget the first thing to do with lemon is to get lots of rusty wire and uh, bits of steel and throw it down the bottom underneath where the roots will be sitting because the lemon trees love to entangle their roots and things and the other thing is a Stella cherry. So these are actually going to be just behind where we'll put a shed. Three car 
hopefully a three car garage shed. And then there's a roof over here again. house will go around over there somewhere and then behind it will be a fenced off area for the animals. So we'll see how we go with that and unfortunately I've got little what they call barking spiders. They're a trapdoor they're the same colour as a piece of bark but they're very nervous ones. They, they don't like to come out and if you make a noise near their hole they zip out and run away from it. Which is good. I prefer them not to run to me. So this is where we're having the uh, heritage listing lifted. This will be all it's actually I think two acres is going to be cleared. And it goes to the main road just over there. Anyone that's observant might notice there's power lines there, which we could simply just tap in, but the whole thing is we're going to be off grid, we don't want to use any services, or as minimal as possible. So we'll have a driveway coming over there, which will loop around, and it will go out over that way, back out to the road. So there we have it. put another big vegetable garden in this section here which originally was going to be for the house but we decided to move the house a little bit further back so I hope that's enlightened some of you uh, if you want any more info like that just leave a comment explaining that you want to see more detail otherwise uh, I'll just keep them brief generally and not go right into it Okay, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, share, more, more viewers that we get on these the better. I'm not uh, the best presenter, but I'm, I'm trying my best to keep you guys entertained anyway. Alright, until next time. See you later, Aussie Bush Changes, Paul out. Ciao.